What is going on, everybody? How's things? Welcome back to Walk the Walk, episode three. So, I think it's been three and a half, four weeks since the last episode. Um, nothing too crazy has been going on so far as training is concerned. Obviously, the last time I was here, I was a little bit ill. Um, glad to say I'm kind of out the back of that. Training is very much back into the swing of things. Feeling really, really good. Um, now, in saying that, we are kind of leading into the last two weeks now of this push-up. At least the kind of the kind of heavier stress load. Drugs are quite high. Training stress is quite high. Food is quite high. We've got two weeks left of that now, and then we're going to have to park that bus. We're going to spend about eight weeks in a slightly lower stress environment, and then from there we're going to run into prep on the first of May. So about ten weeks out from starting prep, which is very exciting and almost surreal to say. Um, obviously, also another thing, uh, Pro Coach is now live, which has been our little secret for the past couple of months that we haven't been able to speak about. Pro Coach is the brainchild of Callum and obviously I've been very very lucky to be invited as lead prep coach within the company so lots of exciting things going on now the work that's been involved at the back of that has been absolutely crazy um, I've been buried in a sea of admin for the past kind of you know 14 to 20 days but absolutely loving it because the you know the plans in place and the you know the plans in the future that are in line for pro coach are pretty outrageous and like I said previously in Callum's video is like if you don't know who pro coach are now you will um, and that's an inevitability because the things that we have going on, the things that we have in the pipeline, really, really are something. Um, and I'm, I for one, am just absolutely buzzing to be involved. I really, really can't believe it. It's another kind of pinch me moment. You know, I've had a lot of pinch me moments in my career. One of them was being invited to join the Muscle Mentors, and another one was being invited to be lead prep coach with Pro Coach. So it's been a pretty outrageous year or two for me. Um, and I can't say I'm anything but happy. I really, really can't. So. Density online today. Um, we're going to head up to FLF now. We're currently sitting in a coffee shop, slight change of environment. We've got some pulls, we've got some presses, we've got some rows. It's pretty outrageous work to be done, but it's going to make for good viewing, it's going to make for good editing. We've got Jay behind the camera as always, and it absolutely wasn't to get this done. So let's get after it. Game on. Boom. There's really not enough water in this, is it? Stepped up on it and then up on it and then it. Here we are, density day, first set done. So, session is running two sets of prime row. We got one set of stiff leg, kind of conventional kind of hybrid. Um, kind of switched up the position in that one just to kind of allow me to run with a little bit more loading across that. So from there, running into seated hamstring curl. Then, second leg movement of the day. We're going into pivot leg press now. A doctor has been giving me a little bit of gif, if that's still gonna happen. We'll move on to the kind of pendulum hammer strength press down there. And then from there, I'll move on to T-bar row, pull down, and then that's a wrap. So, seems relatively simplistic on paper. It's incredibly difficult, very, very challenging session, but arguably the most enjoyable and the most rewarding session of the week. So, all that's left to do is to do it. Let's get after it. Okay. Oh! 
Oh. Uh. Uh. Ah. Uh. Fuck you. Ah. Uh. Asshole. Um. No, just get ready for my top set. <laughs> Exactly. This is it, this is the day. This is the day. <laughs> is it? Well, at least five, five or six. So you got five last time? Four last time, but four, four, four I, I had five, but I got four. Yeah, that's exactly it. Exactly. So today, six plates, five yeah. reps. Yeah. You got it? Six plates, yeah. five reps. Let's go. Five. Swear to God, if I don't get this, I'm cutting the shit out of that. <laughs> yeah, bro, I'm all good now. Fuck them, dog. Get on your cut. There we go. There we go. Okay now. Trade if you see bro. Last one up. <laughs> okay. Okay. CO media, what? Balls of death there. <laughs> oh, I'll take it. It's cleaned up, but I'll take it. Oh, oh. I know. I nearly lost it as well. I'm not gonna. I nearly lost it. I was slowing down. I was like, I'm gonna drop it. I'm gonna drop it. Jay was standing there. I was like, there's way too many people looking at me now. <laughs> oh, you need them, Al. You need it. But on that fifth prep, I thought, you know. Yep. Carry the heaviest load. Yeah, damn right. That you can. Damn right. Pick it up. <laughs> it's your responsibility. Exactly. Do you know what I mean? Damn right. Thank you, brother. I appreciate you. <sighs> oh. The bodybuilding Gandalf. What's it like having Oscars in the gym? Oh, honestly, man, like, I was going to do this already. I was going to put this on Instagram. So, obviously, I'm here now 10 months. 
and like, there are a handful of things that have probably kind of changed my like perception of what I can do and kind of my ability. It's not only an athlete, it's just like as a person. And Oscar's like a massive catalyst to that, like genuinely. I've never been around someone more inspiring and you know more supportive in my entire life to be perfectly honest with you. And Cal told him I was gonna be here and Oscar took me under his wing, has called me his brother since day one. And I've I've met a lot of people in my time in this industry, but not many don't come as close to, to Oscar so far as the benefit that they've had and the positive impact they've had on my life. So Oscar, if you're watching this, I love you brother and thank you for everything. I'm taking my arm and a figure of eight, and I won't leave to the whole clip empty. Oh, there you go. So invoice. Rep, well, I'm gonna send them an invoice, so a little bit different. Oh, I say, a man of many talents, Jay. A man of many talents. Yeah. Little, little hack to set my hips up a little bit higher. Must be on the road. Yeah, that dunks. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah, kick chap. Disrespect. Yeah, I know. Yeah, creased tissue. Kicking them away. That's good. Yeah. That's good. Okay. Another thing we can look at. Oh, let's get out of this machine first. Okay, I'm cool again. Another thing we need to look at, like it's relatively simple at times, is just warming up. So I see a lot of people with their warm-ups, they're generating so much fatigue just in their warm-ups that the capacity for them to perform in those working sets, you know, it's mitigated, it's at risk. So when it comes to warming up, just understand that all you're really trying to do is kind of familiarize the nervous system, if you will, in a kind of basic sense. You just want to let the body know if there's load to be had, there's load to be held, but at the same time, you don't want to run the risk of missing out on some performance markers by basically warming up too hard. Just something to think about. Start with slightly higher reps in your initial warm-up sets, bring it back down to one to two as you get towards that top set, and then kind of go from there. Oh. 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 oh, that feels good. <clears throat> right. Did you decide to wake up? Yeah. <laughs> Get my good side. <laughs> see that? And you see the walk change, the walk right from this step. <laughs> Sorry. What's the reference? I'm going for till I, going for till I stop. Everything. everything, everything. If I give it everything, I'll just keep it at one set. If it's a little bit there, then I'll know. Just wait. Yeah. Just wait. Just wait. Yes, sir. Right, let's go. Yeah. Okay. Drop hot. Yes, sir. Good. Do what you do best. Okay. Sneaks up on you. Oh, <laughs> I was looking at you going, take the fucking thing, will you? I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. You've got stubborn in your eyes, Oscar. No, I'm not fucking touching it. You could pay me 10 grand. I'm oh, not touching it. You were, I knew. I was a three quarters of the way up. I was like, he's not fucking taking that. I was just gonna go. <laughs> he's looking at me as a doing, you I'm bitch. I'm here for your safety. I'm not here to help you. I'm here on the safety yeah. pin. Your only goal is to make me not die, that's all. <laughs> fucking hell. That's all that. I only because he can do it. I just want you alive. Just so you can do it again. 
<laughs> I literally wanted to laugh halfway. I thought I ain't fucking touching that. <laughs> but I kept looking at it and it kept moving as slow as possible. That's all. That's all. Oh, fucking hell, man. <laughs> ah. Legendary shit. Ah. Oh. 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 Fucking Jesus, Oscar. You can fuck off, Jay. <laughs> it's a perfect example of trusting your spotter. So, I'm not sure what you might have seen before. Oscar asked me how many reps I have. I simply just said I'm going to go. And, you know, when you trust your spotter, you have the capacity to do that. You know, you can say, I'm just going to go. So, you always know you're safe. You know, there's a handful of people here. There's Oscar, there's Darren behind me. You know, where I feel safe in any situation. I feel like I can just go, I can work. And output is everything. I'm not counting for shit. All I'm thinking about is the next rep. The next rep. The next rep. There's no count. There's no end. There's no nothing. I'm just thinking rep by rep by rep by rep. Knowing that I'm safe. If it does fail, if it does kick back, nothing's going to happen because I have a spotter who knows exactly what to do if that is happening. Get the seven of the spotter. on me right now and I told you to wait something out me okay Something you'll often see or what you might have seen in the clip is I have this pad sitting here. No crazy shit about that to be honest with you. It's just the distance between setting the machine and kind of where I want to be relative to my height. There's just a small gap there. But another point you'll often see is people are quite inclined to lean forward on these seated leg curls and the idea is that they're lengthening the hamstring more. The reality is that, you know, that kind of works to a point. It's quite a finite thing. In eventuality, what you end up doing is just stretching your sciatic nerve, which kind of runs the entirety up the posterior side of your leg. So you just need to be careful with that, you know, nerves can go under stress an awful lot of the time as well. So just before you start thinking about things that you're doing in order to improve an exercise, it's worth asking yourself, is that really improving it? Or is it just changing the sensation or potentially even causing damage? So find a place where the hamstrings can lengthen, where it's comfortable, where it's safe, and work on output. Don't worry too much about trying to lean forward. So good as your cost. Got my alligator eye talking the cost. Man, I find myself lately, right? 
because I'm heavier. I get knocked off balance by myself so easily. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Pretty fucking big green giant. Boom. There's two, six, seven, seven, eight. eight. Open up the track through the whole way. Yep. Oh. 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 Ah, get out. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, oh. Fucking hell, man. The hamstrings are going there, so... <laughs> that felt okay. And again. Oh. It's the most demoralizing thing on earth. Well, <laughs> let's get the hands. It's kind of shit, you know? doing it. Remember from the previous video? Now, I think I was using a different handle and a different uh, bar altogether. But again, when we're doing these kind of pull downs, you know, we need to think about permission of the wrists. Because if you're keeping those guys in a stable environment, now, I'm sorry, stable environment, it's kind of fixed position, if you will. You know, it's always going to be a little bit less permissive of accuracy, especially loading the lats. When you can be a little bit more permissive of the wrists and then of thus the upper arm and that capacity to move those elbows in front of you. It's always going to be more high quality movement, more efficient movement. You're going to train where you want it and you're going to get the result that you need out of it. Okay. Okay. I'm Bruce Lee on myself. Yeah. You want a bit? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. You know you've attacked, <laughs> attacked the set, but then the set attacks you. I just let go, and the thing was, <laughs> oh man. The deaf rap stars. Dreadlocks, dreadlocks. And then a motherfucking Flintstone. Oh. Oh. That is us done. So, a little bit of work to do, but it's relatively boring. You've seen it before, some biceps. We're gonna park it here. So, that is density done. Hopefully next time we come back in, we're gonna take a different kind of edge to the video, I'll probably train some push, kind of follow me around my day, take a different spin on things, but thank you all so much for watching. Again, the support has been absolutely overwhelming and I do massively appreciate it. If anyone has any kind of recommendations, questions, queries, anything at all, even just support or feedback, drop it below. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, tell your ma, tell your auntie, tell your brother, tell whoever. I'll speak to you in the next one. Peace and love. Slano all you. Chat to you soon.